You are worthy of praise. Who shall I see? His fate, and they say they would throw you, throwing him into the den. I can, I can hear me. Daniel say, Who say, I now? Who say, You know that tomorrow you will die, but it doesn't matter. Oh, crow, when you come to that place, God wants you to say that. Who say, I now? Who say, Nasi, you are worthy of praise and worthy of thanks. Job said that. Is it the same God that blessed me? Is it now that, that, that now you know it, it look as if he had rejected me that I will also reject him? No. I just want to thank him. The times that he was blessing, the times that my life was good and I will continue to bless him. The time, times that things are bad. I will also bless him. Say, who said I am? You deserve all. You are worthy of praise and worthy of all things. In the midst of the lions, then God, we say you are worthy of praise. In the midst of the fire, we say you are worthy of praise. In the midst when you don't feel like God will deliver you, we say God, you are worthy of praise. When you don't feel like God will heal you, we say God, you are worthy of praise. When you don't know your next meal will come, we say you are worthy of praise. You and I have it good. We have no idea that we have it good. He's worthy of praise. Yesterday the Lord let me meet somebody. And after we were talking and everything and I realized it. And he connected me to his wife. And they are all white Americans and tears in their eyes. And I was crying with him. I don't want the family to know that I am crying. When I heard everything I said God you are worthy of praise. You say, when it is in your power to do good, I, I realize that it is in my power to do good to them. So I have to do good to them, you understand? He's worthy of praise in the midst of fire. Hey, let me tell you, you and I are standing here today. I'm a, man, you are, you are, we are standing here today because he's worthy of praise. We are not dead, we are worthy. He's worthy of praise and worthy of all things. You don't understand the, the challenges and the trials that you go through when you were Christian. A lot of people say, Koroma Sayandara. Sometimes God wants you to taste of it, bitterness, for you to see how you're going to react in the midst of your bitterness. You are worthy of praise. For those three Hebrew men say, if God comes or not, if God delivers us or not, if God breaks us through or not, if God comes through, we're still going to serve Him. Be your praise. Do I have some people that say, God, if you do this for me or not, if you deliver me or not, if you save me or not, if you break me through or not, regardless of everything, you still worthy of praise. You worthy of praise. Somebody, I want someone to tell him that he's worthy of praise. God, you are worthy of praise. You are worthy of praise. I am not a mercy. He's worthy of praise. Oh, Lord God, I will not leave you. Just as you say, you will never leave me or forsake you. I will also not leave you. I may not understand it, but I give you the praise and I give you the adoration. You are worthy of praise. Somebody gets to tell him that he's worthy of praise. You are worthy of praise. My God, I am a master. Oh, yeah, God, I need that. Oh, yeah, God, I'm a master. Oh, yeah, God, I'm a master.
the midst of your weakness, he's still worthy of praise. In the time that you cannot even pray, he's still worthy of praise. The time that you don't feel like it, he's still worthy. He's worthy of praise. <laughs> he's still on the throne. He's still on the throne. He never changed. He never changed. He's still the same. Nothing take him by surprise and nothing shock him our life he knows the beginning and he knows the end oh shaky and that oh shaky and that oh shaky and that oh Jesus 
Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. The lion has rose up and is standing behind you. He's standing behind you. Is there anyone that wants to interfere with your relationship, the marriage that he himself has spoken? That this is the man for you. This is the thing that, that works up your hands. Is there be any powers? Is there be any witches? Whatsoever. Whatever be sickness, whatever. Says them, they be in the dead, they throw them in the dead. They will be the same thing. I have to forget him. About him and what him are day. He brought you want to destroy the star. He brought you want to destroy the Israel. He brought you want to destroy his people. But they don't know.
For you to go through. You are coming out of it. And when you come out of it. There will not be any hurt on you. Do you understand? But those that put you there. Those that conspire. Now we say. We say. Oh. Now we say. Say they will go unpunished. They will go unpunished. Whether be your family member, God will make sure that they will not die until they come before you and I. For everything they have done and everything you have. Do you know? Do you understand what God is saying? It's as you singing and praising me. That in the midst of whatever that going on, you are giving me the praise. You see, that is what God wants. In the midst of your trials and your challenges, take time and say, Wusa! Oh, Wusa! No, no, no. There's a song in my language. Say, Ready when you're more young, but dead, yo. Let's sing that song. What the Holy Ghost just brought. That means He's speaking to us in the song. They call him that His glory will be seen. Shandara Masa. God's glory will be seen. Amamas. 
He said that these are the things you are storing back and forth like that. The sadness, don't you know that your sadness touches me? And when your sadness touches me, I want to go to war on your behalf. I also know the heart that I have put inside you. You will just stand and turn around and plead for the same people. I come from somewhere. I come from somewhere for me to get to where I am. I am from somewhere. You don't know me. You met me as a pastor. But God have done a great deal, a great work. He said, when you are sad, I am sad. So I don't just get up and pick people. I don't get up and pick people. I pick those that their heart is for me and it's for my people, the same people. I say you don't know what I am doing. <laughs> you will soon know and you soon find out. Because even so many things, I God myself have hidden it from you. Because you're gonna see how I'm gonna see who can bring down when lion the Daniel went to the den. He said, he, stand here. Oh, you are taller, come front here. And then just raise your shoulder. I saw God like this, and I'm standing. I saw it behind her. And she said, who can come between me? If I spoke that this is your man, this is it. And I said, there be anything. He said, I'm promising you to try. I will kill you. He said, my will. It doesn't matter who is who. Let me tell you. It doesn't matter. Who is who? Even if it is your mother, your father, your uncle, your pastor, your whatsoever rise against any of my children. Ah, some are trying. Oh. Some are truly trying. Some are truly really trying and giving their life to him and really doing what they can. He see everything that they do. And you think that I will sit down for those that conspire to put you in the den to devour you. Then for mankind to say that who is this God? Aramose. He said, I am not the God of coward. I am not a coward God. He said, I am not like man. That when you have things, you just show it off. I am the owner of the universe. Do you see me shaking myself for mankind to know? I will devour whoever wants to devour you. Aramose. Because I am the lion of the tribe of Judah. Nobody stood up when heaven was calling and looking for whoso, whosoever, whoever want to come down. So not even the 24 elders. Don't be afraid of witches because I have clipped their wings. They can no longer fly. They will be whatever. Some will be ashamed. They can't look at your face because of what they have said and what they have done. I will expose them. I will start them confusion all over. They will tell on each other. Some think they don't need you. He says, sit back and watch. Who need who and who want who? The God's glory will be seen. Whoever put you in the den, they will be in the den themselves. Whoever wants you to struggle and suffer, you say, I want them to taste a little bit. If they want you to be driving and riding the Uber for a long time, I want them to experience it, how it feels like. That God's glory will be seen. I say that you can bet me. You're going to sit down, you're going to hear the ping pong, ping pong. Because some are getting married. What you fought and you have been fighting. That it will not be. It is what it will be. What it will be. <laughs> you see, they have forgotten my word. That if you, any gathering that has never been of me, that gathering will never stand. No innocent, because it is me that check the innocency of man. It is me that check innocency. When you want to jail and you want to put an innocent person 
into trouble and go around and talk and spread a Koromasa. I will also make sure, let you know that I am the just God. If you, you say, if you trying to divorce and you divorce any of my children, it is you that will beg for forgiveness. As long as you don't entertain foolishness. As long as you don't entertain because I will not side and support your divorce. So you are angry at me. God said, I see and I hear and I know what you say. Thank you, Lord. God say that the journey, what is ahead of you, the little that remain, it is very lonely and very distant. And I want you to stand and go through it. Because at the end, very soon, when you're on the other side, you will understand. Mm. Tell your neighbor that it's not everybody God has given to you to stand with you. So know it and understand. And God, say, close your mouth and let God do the talking for you. Our mercy. Because we are in a place, you are in a place right now that is a very hot place. And if you don't take it, the least mistake, you miss it like this. Because you are going to break through big time. And they will hear, they will see, you said it, but they didn't believe. It's not everybody have to believe what God is saying concerns you. Because if everybody believe with you, there will be a distraction. And that I'm also God's glory will be seen. Tell your neighbor, I'll be delivered. And I am delivered. God is working on me. And I will not miss it. My calling is in the hands of God. He said, this journey is lonely. I'm in the place of a long journey. God, I understand. Mm -mm. God, I understand. If you don't understand, tell God that now I understand. I give you the praise. Thank you, Lord. It's not how successful you are. It's your end that, that determines. Because you can be successful like that and the end is bad. No, I want my end. Good end. Thank you, Lord. Tell your neighbor that I have fought the battle already. I have fought some battle. Some battle I have fought it. And I will not fight it again. I'm going somewhere. Say, I'm going somewhere. Ah. That song gives me. God's glory will be seen. For all mankind to know. As the Lord has said. He will bless you. Ah. He will bless you for you to be a blessing. He will bless me for me to be a blessing. Simple, it's simple saying that hey, Koro, in the song, what God is trying to tell you and I, that whatever promise I have given you, that promise will be fulfilled. Mandekaya will never have known. When, when the, the Chaldeans begin to say that they're going to eliminate all the Israelites, they want to kill all the Israelites in the book of Esther. They don't know the outcome. Medekaya said to Esther, I need you to rise up for us to enter into fasting. Then you don't know the outcome. The only person you can trust is God. There come to a time that you cannot trust anybody but God alone. Aram will say, I have been with him. It's been a journey. And this God has never forsaken me. Do you understand? Many will not understand. You say A, they will translate it to B. B. It's all part of it. A koromasa. I will give God a praise. And some add some to it, and some twist it, and some change it. But God knows the mind of everyone. He knows where our heart is. So you don't need to say, you don't need to fight, you don't need to ask. Just keep your mute. Sit back and watch me. Let me fight the battle. I fought the battle from the beginning. Since the day that some of you were born, God has been fighting battle just because your eyes don't see it. He says you are mine. 
<laughs> you are mine. Nobody. Do you know? Do you see what I'm saying? God, you are mine. You like this. You are mine. Let whatever they say, let whatever they do, nothing will touch you. You will still stand tall. Why do you want to believe what man says? When you are in right standard, right standard with me. Ah. I know all their meetings, spiritual meetings, where pastors and some gather together to see to it how they can bring you down. But who can bring anyone down if I, God, has not brought the person down? It's elevate. I have elevated you and their eyes will see it. I have blessed you and their eyes will do what? Will see it. Because you love what I love and you hate what I hate. Nada, see nada. Tell your neighbor that I am blessed. And say that we are blessed. Say, it doesn't matter the terror by night. Neither the arrows that fly at a new day. A thousand will fall at your side. Ten thousand right hand side. Only your eyes shall you see the reward of the wicked. Let me tell you. Your children will surround you. Your children will come home. Your children will stay with you. Your children will worship with you. And what the enemy have done, God will undo it. Nothing, Aramus, nothing that you bring before me and you ask me. God said, I, God, will not answer you. You say, know that your pain is, your, is my pain. When you sleep on your bed and tossing and tossing and tossing, and you are sad. I am also sad. Huh. You see, when you are tossing and tossing and you don't know what to do, my angel was there and was reporting, was reporting back and forth, was reporting. So when you come here and sit here and pray till morning, my angels are with you. And I must say, and I'll fight the battle to the end. Who can fight the battle of my church? Who can fight? Who can spread false news in Doriakata? They will spread their own false news. Everything they have done to you, they will receive exactly. And I will double and shake it and let it run over and put it back upon Aramose. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody lift up your hand and say, Thank you, Jesus. That your glory will be seen. You that are watching me, say, lift up your hand at home and say, Thank you, Jesus. That your glory will be seen. Do you see that I want to bring the message, but God just brought in whatever He wants to tell you. Mark here and that. I am the lion of the tribe of Judah. I am standing behind you and I am backing you. They come in the middle of the night. They see what they see behind you. They see in front of you. You go behind you, in front of you. What I will say, even surround the whole area. It doesn't matter. It's not about how many people. Allah. You count yourself, but those that are for us, those that are guarded, those that are with us, they are more than those. You are not alone. I want somebody to stand on their feet and look around. And I pray that God will open your eyes to see those that have surrounded you. And let me tell you, you will not fall. You're not going to fall. There's no way you're going to fall. When you think you are falling, he just come, he just come in on time. Oh, seeing everything that we are doing. Watch and see. Did he? And he said, he said, did you watch and see? Don't be surprised one of these days. When you and I, when you are counting some things, some millions, and you don't know where you came from. When we are counting, you say, Pastor, we can't even count. We can't even count. So we will not fall. I will not fall. I will not fall. I will not fall. You say, when your heart is for God and is for his work, is also his heart is for you. 
as you desire and push in his work forward, he will also push you forward. As you try against his work, he's also against you. Whatever attack on you, your finance, whatever. God say ahead. Any conversation you have, anytime you talk, is you are talking to me. Watch and see the promotion that will come to your daughter. You say, because they have provoked me, I will also double the money. You see, God, in my language, so yeah, that means God is just you doing a shakara, that means showing up. I will bless the works of your hands. Lord, I will bless. say, thank you, Lord. The Lord's glory. This is what God is saying. I must say, so I brought the family to you. I let them meet you because I know what you can do. God said, when it is in your power to do good, you don't ask. You just do it. Somebody take your hand and say, I'm a blessed woman. I want you to take your hand, my son, and walk like my just, I'm a blessed man. Nah, I'm a blessed woman. Don't try to follow any man. Follow God. Follow who? Follow God. And hear the voice of the Lord. And be obedient to his voice alone. Don't listen to the voices that surround. Don't be a partaker of anything that is not of God. Because God. Hey. Some people are saying you carry the thing on your head. You say yes, I will carry you. I, am, I will carry and I will continue to carry. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to lift up your right hand and say breakthrough. breakthrough. Tell your neighbor that it's breakthrough. breakthrough. Say, tell your neighbor it's breakthrough. breakthrough. Say it's breakthrough for me. No, it says it's for me and my household. Ah, Mr. Didi, something great is coming. God said, this time as it's come, let us shut our mouth. Don't tell nobody. God said it has already come. Just to lift up your hand and begin to thank him. Father, I thank you. Thank you for what has already come. Just thank him that I thank you for what you, it has already come. Thank you for what you have already released. Thank you, O oh God. And that I must say, he said, the sickness that they put it on you in the realm of the spirit that you wanted to fight your mother. He said, that sickness, God said, I've taken it back and put it on the person. Now put it on you. Yeah. That wheelchair, what they have decided, because God said, because we've been praying, what they have decided to do against and against the church and everything. God said, I've taken it upon and then given it back to whoever spoke that word in the name of Jesus. So when you begin to witness somebody going through that, you say, oh, so it is you to God be the glory in the name of Jesus. In my language, I say, me me come you, no be come you, no me be come. He said, I don't come and touch me or don't come and try to come against me. As you come against me, God is against you. I don't think you heard it. He said, don't try. Somebody said, don't try. Just take a chair and imagine that chair is the devil, Satan. He said, don't try. Whosoever you will use, uh, don't try to touch me, to touch what belongs to me, the works of my hands, my family, whatever God has entrusted into my hands. Don't try it because it will backfire. And it's backfiring back upon you in the name of Jesus. Say, I am standing on the Lord's side. I am standing on the Lord's side. I am standing on the Lord's side. So I'm untouchable in the name of Jesus. So don't do it. Uh. This deliverance uh, is of the law. So I have known, I have known my fault and I have repented it and I know whatever I have been doing, it was wrong and God has forgiven me as the east 
is far away from the west. Uh, the same. Uh, God has removed my sins. Uh, and he don't remember it anymore. So anyone in the den. Uh, they themselves will be in the den. Thank you oh God. For delivering me out of any den. In the name of Jesus. I give you the praise. I give you the adoration. So I'm on the winning side. I am winning and winning. I am winning and winning. And I have won. In the name of Jesus. Don't try to come against me. Don't try to touch me. What belongs to me. What is mine. Don't try it. Because you are trying God. You are trying God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Holy Ghost. Don't try. Don't try. Because you are trying God. And you have tried God. You call him master. It doesn't matter what you say. The lies you said. Whatever the enemy say. Whoever he raised up. For them to speak lies. Spew lies. And they know very well. That it's a lie. But they go ahead and say it. Because they have been hired. And some are ignorant. Don't try it. Because the den. That you have death for me. You have made for me. Or prepared for me. Is your own den. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I will not wait to get to heaven. Right here, victory is right here for me. My victory is right here. My blessing is right here. My enjoyment is right here. Everything is right here. In the name of Jesus. Let me read this thing to you. The book of Job 5. He said, Behold, happy is the man who God corrects. Therefore, do not despise the chastisement of the Almighty. For he bruises, but he bind up. He wound, but his hand make hold. He shall deliver you in the sixth trouble. Yes, in seven, no evil shall touch you. In famine, he shall redeem you from death. In the war, from the power of sword. You shall be hidden from the scorches of tongues, and you shall not be afraid of the destruction when it comes. When it comes, you shall laugh at destruction and famine, and you shall not be afraid of the beasts of the field. Aramusi. If you read this scripture here, it's the promises. Do you understand? And how Holy Ghost now took his feather also, and speaking to us about Daniel, uses Daniel. You understand that the den and everything, Haramusi, <laughs> the rejoicing, say, I'm about to rejoice. I'm preparing myself. I'm getting ready. You see, when God speaks like this, you forget every trouble that you go through. God is reminding you, don't worry, don't put your mind on whatsoever. You are not alone. You are not standing alone. You look alone. It feels alone. You feel rejected, a rejection, you feel that. But you not alone. God wants you to himself. Tell your neighbor, we won. Say, I won. And we won. You are a winner. Say, winner, a, a. Say, winner, a, a. I want you to put your hand on your chest if it is healing. Say, winner, a, a. That means God have healed you so you were a winner. If it is deliverance, put your hand on your chest and say, Winner. Eh, eh. Or your hand on your stomach and say, Winner. Eh, eh. Lord, I thank you for uncovered what has been covered. Ah, thank you for uncover what has been covered by the enemy. Nothing will take me by surprise. I will not visit the doctors and they will not know what is going on. They will always know what God I desire or I deserve or they say it's surgery. Before the time of surgery, God, you have already gone ahead of me and you have already healed me. You are healing me. You have already healed me for mankind to know that I'm a blessing. Indeed, I serve a living God. 
Lord, I thank you. What you place in my hand become thousand. If it is one, it become thousand. If it is thousand, it become millions. Hey, come and see. Thank you, Lord. Come and see and follow me. Let's serve my God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God is taking back to a dream I had years ago. It was so profound. Now he just flushed it back in my memory. Let him know. So come and follow me. Tears in my eyes when I had that dream. It was so real. And I was telling everybody, my family and everyone, I said, follow me. At first, and all of a sudden, they all deserted. But later, came back wearing white, following me. And I was tears in my eyes. And I was praising God. And they were following me. We were worshiping and thanking him. Ah, winner. The Lord will deliver whosoever in the mouth of Satan, whosoever crying for deliverance, God, the deliverance will reach up to them. You are not alone. God is with you. God will save you. Deliver you if you have to, if you have to part ways with family people, or family members, God will let that be so your salvation can be say He will deliver. He has already saved you. He's bringing you to his foes for mankind to know he's the one that delivers. And you you shall share your story. You will not manipulate. You will not lie. You will not add someone whatsoever. God is saving you. As if you are being obedient, continue to come and continue to show up. And continue to say that I am here. Don't be afraid of the terror. Don't worry about what mankind will say. What anybody will say, my dear. <laughs> Don't worry about that. God is more than able and he's able. daddy. He say his glory will be seen. God's glory will do what? Will be seen. Ah, why am you? The Lord have done me well. God have done me well. We're gonna get up and say, Ah, hey, God have done me well. Hey, God have done me well, oh. Hey, God have done me well. Take your phone. Take your phone. Hey, you know some people you can trust. Me, I can trust this one here. Me, I can trust. Uh, hey, God have done. He said the first shall be last, the last shall be first. I said, don't worry. Don't say anything. Because when this came and when that came, some, he said, they didn't come. He said, God said, I myself will give it to you. Don't worry. Silver and gold are mine. Count it all joy. Hey, how did you ask? I don't know. Hey, hey, and anything and everything that you want to do, you will do it. Whatever you need money to do, if it is money to accomplish, ah, God said, I am the money itself. As you take me and you get me, you are taking money. You are taking everything. Have you forgotten? Seek ye the kingdom of God and every other thing. We we'll do what? We'll be added. As you seek God, every other thing. Do you see? He just saying, you are home tossing and turning and tossing and turning. And you are grieving your spirit and in your heart. I was grieved. And God said, I wanted to. Do you hear what God said? He said, because some of the things I share with you, go back and tell the person. You go back and tell the people. So it cannot make me stop. I don't know, sir. <laughs> hey, I want somebody to take the high handkerchief and do like this. Do like this. Just do like this. Just do like this. And say, we nae. We nae, we nae. Say, we nae. Take the hand, say, let it go back like this. We nae. We nae. Yes, we nae. We nae. We nae. We nae. So I'm a winner. I am a winner. The promises of God. The promises of God. It will not be something. It will not go this thing, the promises of God will surely, definitely come to pass. What she has spoken will come to pass. 
what I be or concerns this church. It will come to pass. Who and who can shut and who can close and who, who is, is it a man or is it a human or is it a spirit? And all these that I have mentioned, God said that I made them and I created them with my own hands. Who can stand before me? Who can judge and who know the innocent? Thank you, Lord. Count it all joy. He said, don't worry and don't count whatever. Don't count. How many of you here that you look at your bank account and you are counting it? <laughs> Lift up your hands if you look at your bank account. You say, don't look at the bank account and be counting and be counting and thinking that. I am the one that whatever that is low, I bring it high. <laughs> Do you hear what God says? Say, when you pray that prayer and you raise that prayer point, Loro Masa. Is it the same Job? Yeah. Job, yeah, it's the same Job 5. Let's go there and read it quick. You know, I'm trying for us to pray, but hey, let's flow as the Holy Ghost. Yes, he said, he gives, Job chapter 5, he gives rain on the earth and send waters on the field. He's, verse uh, 10, Job 5, and he sets on high those who are low, who are lonely. So he's the one that says, he's just trying to say that the prayer that we pray, that if your bank account is what? Low, he's the one who do what? Do you understand what God is saying? If your health is low, he's the one that will do what? That means he will heal you. Is it not she healed her sister, uh, our auntie here? No. We we're trying to give her an African name. What day was she born? Friday. Ah, Ire Fua. Mami Fua. No. She deserved the Ira means Lady Ephia. Uh -huh. So when your destiny is low, the bank account is low, he do what? Yeah, we don't want Yasantua because I don't like the spirit of Yasantua. Lady Fia. Now, Yasantua went to war with the white folks and he won. But uh, you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Yasantua went to war when the white people came to Ghana. Thousands of millions of white people, men, and she's a female. She stood against all of them, and he won and took the country for the Africans, for Ghanaians. But her character behind that character, me, I don't like. When so anybody say you are Yasan to her, that means that, do you understand? Yes. Yeah. I'm not looking at the war side. I'm looking at the other side. No, she can't be Yasan to her. Amen. God is blessing. Say God is blessing. God is blessing. Some of you, he's changing your shoes. He's removing your shoes and give you new shoes. That means a new level, new authority in the name of Jesus. God is saying, I'm not raising up broke people. I'm not raising up broke men and broke. I don't raise up broke. Thank you for the increase. We'll give you the praise. We'll give you the adoration. Thank you for the restoration. Thank you for men, husband, and wives that are coming home. Thank you that God, you are restoring the families that have been broken. We'll give you the praise because any den that they put us in, oh God, you have shut the mouth of the lion. And every marriage that has been in a den for a long time, they are already out in the name of Jesus. Finances that have been in a den, they are already out. Ah. And every word that God has spoken concerns anyone. The word will come to pass. If God has, how many of you have some word over your life? God has said some things. Lift up your hand. So God has not said something. Young lady, you sitting back there. God has not said anything. When God said that word, it was you first that he pointed before everyone. If God has said something concerns your life, lift up your hand. 
you should know that God will bring it to pass. And I want you to say with your mouth, don't say it loud for anybody to hear, but say, God, thank you for bringing this to pass, and thank you for bringing this to pass. Thank you for bringing this to pass. Thank you for fulfilling what you have said in the name of Jesus. Lord, I give you the praise. I give you the adoration. Father, I thank you, Lord. We oh, bless you, Lord. Ma kayandara. I thank you, O oh God. Yekiandara mo sekete. Blessed be your name. Yekoro mo siandara. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's read the scripture and then we'll begin to pray. I Job five twenty three. Start. Uh, yeah, continue from the twenty three or the twenty two. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You shall laugh at destruction and famine. Hallelujah. You shall not be afraid of the beasts of the earth. You shall have a covenant with the stones on the field. The beasts of the field. Remember the lion was peace at peace with what Daniel. And the stone, Christ is the rock, is the stone. So you shall be, you shall have peace with them. You have a covenant with them. The beast and the field and everything is talking about, you know, uh, issues and whatsoever. You understand? They will be at peace with you. Praise the Lord. You shall know the tenth. The tenth stand for your home, your house, or your territory, everything. Everywhere around you shall be, shall be at peace with you. Do you understand? You will walk in peace. And everything, not confusion, not this thing. The enemy is very cunning to bring confusion. You understand? He wants you to be confused everywhere you go. This one, ah, bah, 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 and your life is confused and everything. You understand? Problem here and there. But you'll be at peace. There will be no confusion in the name of Jesus. Your tent means your household is in peace. Amen. You visit your dwelling, your household, everything, you know, whatever place you visit. And you don't, you won't find anything amazing. You won't lack anything. Nothing are you going to lack if you marry. As you, and I will say if, as you marry. As God restores you. As God restores us. We will not, you know, find anything what? At miss. That means we will not miss anything. Remember, God keeps saying that you're not losing anything, you're not missing anything. The first time when God said, I said, Ah, what's that mean? God said, I'm not missing anything. I'm not. But as time goes on, you keep declaring, I, as He say, He bring it and you say it. He knows what goes on in the realm. So He wants you to speak it loud so the enemy will know because you don't see it, what they are doing. You don't see it, you don't hear. But He come, He sees it and come and report to you. And say that, say this, you are going somewhere. That means they're already putting things in place or they put some stuff in place and declare to you that you are not going anywhere. They, they speak all this incantation and all that, that you're not going anywhere. God said, declare, say opposite, you are going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere with the Lord. My life is going somewhere. I am going somewhere. I'm going somewhere in the name of Jesus. My tent is at peace. My household is at peace. My church is at peace. This church is at peace. There is peace in this church. In the name of Jesus. We will not find anything I miss in this church. The church will not miss anything. The church will not miss anything. We are not going to miss anything. In the name of Jesus. My family will not miss anything. I am not going to miss anything. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am going somewhere. I'm at peace with God. I'm at peace with my neighbor. I'm at peace in my household at peace. My children are peace. Oh God have worked everything together. My children are doing well. They are in the right place. Uh. They are fulfilling uh, their destiny in the name of Jesus. Everything is working together good for them. Uh. They are not in a midst of anything. They are dwelling place. They will find nothing amiss uh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Continue. Look, look at this. When the Lord told Abraham 
that your descendant will be like this. At that time, Abraham have, has no child. And then even then later, 25 years later, after the promise, 25 years later, Isaac came. Then he, he gave, he also, he, he repeated a promise that, hey, Isaac, your descendant will be like the sea. You understand? Like the seashore, like the sun on the sea, the sand on the sea. Then Isaac also gave birth to Esau, Jacob. And he, he repeated the same thing. God is full of promises. And then from there, he had the 12 children. And from there, you understand? From there down, they were 70. They went to Egypt. All these things God said in. And from 70 people that enter Egypt, they became numerous. Ah. God already foreseen our future. Our children, children, our bloodline will not be wiped off, will not be stuck, will not do things that they're not supposed to do because we have already sold our bloodline to Jesus Christ. We have made a covenant with him. I don't know about you, but I said to God, my bloodline, oh God, I sell them, I, I give all of them to you until Jesus come. That sh there shall be no witch or wizard. There shall be no bloodline, any person that will serve the devil. Oh God, remember and Lord, then my God, my covenant with you, just as you remember David, uh, and you say because of David, you live a light in, in the bloodline for them. Even when their children uh, go astray, Father, but I say to you that none of my bloodline should go astray. When they are going somewhere, bring them back to where they're supposed to be, because I give them to you completely forever. With that irreversing that no man, no demon, you reverse it in the name of Jesus. I seal it with the blood of Jesus. Aramosi. Let the ocean, let them be embedded. Let them be buried in the blood, in the ocean of the blood of Jesus. Aramosi. God is the God of covenant. He keep covenant. Ikoromasa. He say, even some want to rise. He say, hey! That was a woman that was a, a daughter of mine, your great, 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 that made a covenant with me. So you have no destiny to go anywhere because you have been given to me. Before you even came to the earth, oh, your destiny, your fate has already been decided by God in the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. We will serve you to the day we die. Nori, we will not turn back. Oh God, keep us. Nori Akata, you have allowed us to be in a den. You have allowed us to be humiliated. You have allowed us to be in places that, Lord God, but you know that we can carry, you know that we can be in. And I thank you and I bless you that you've taken pride in everything that we have been going through. You have taken pride in it. Hey, Masha, Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hey, Koromasa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That is why Job said to his wife, would I receive the good things alone? Won't I receive also the bad things that comes with it? Koromasa is also part of it. When you sometimes feel like you feel alone, you feel weak, you cannot pray. You feel like you don't want to go. God say because it's a reminder for you to know that you are human and I am with you. But God already know your heart. He knows when you are going to give up. But some of you, some of us, you know that our hearts are solid with him. Thank you, Lord. He says, so many of you that you ask, how come, why? Why that me that couldn't? Because God say you are mine. No, you are mine. If God, if some people come and tell you, some people, family people come and tell you, they have known from the beginning that he sent and have released his angel, the angel of the house, the angel that have walked with you from the beginning. 
the angel that go everywhere with you. A corona. So they know that this one they can't touch. Hey, thank you, Jesus. I want you to stand on your feet. You have no idea when God begins to reveal this kind of revelation that you are not alone. I am not alone. No, I am not alone. You say, God is with me. Open God, say, God, open my eyes. And let me even see the angel right now. I am not even right. I'm not correct. But yet, hey, there's an angel. You see, some are coming. Some demons are coming. An angel is standing there and making sure. Because this one has made up his mind and her heart. It's been given to me. So I already released angels to watch you. They cannot kill you. Neither can they take you back to be in their foes because you try. You just fly, fly, fly. You have nowhere to land your feet. You know that. You don't, you're not able to land your feet because well, <laughs> your season of seven and your season to be in it is already over. God say <laughs> he will bury you in this church. You die in this church. He will deliver you and you serve the Lord. And your children, all those children as you are crying, say, I, God, will deliver and save them. Glory for you to know that I save mankind, I save witches, I deliver witches, for I am God. A coro master, say they are time and season. I'm clipping a lot of <laughs> a lot of feathers and a lot of this thing. I've already clipped. I'm clipping. I have clipped that one too. She can't fly. She will try to fly to go home and come back. She can no longer go home and come back. The time for you to go home. You cry. Some will go whatever home you come from. You want to go down home. You cannot go. You try. <laughs> I'm telling you. Me and you, Munyamba, the glory of God will be seen. Enough is enough. Whatever power, whatever spirit come upon you and make you do whatever you do, whatever you do that you don't want. God said that I am delivering you out of it. That desire will be no more. That desire, if it is desire of masturbation, the demon wants to come and jump on you. He's trying to jump, he's not jumping. He's trying to jump, he cannot enter. He's trying to jump, he cannot enter. Because somebody else has already entered. God has so many ways of delivering people. Is it not to do this to be learned in the Bible studies? As you read the word, the word do what cleanses you. Let me tell you. The Lord is saying that many will take it and then just throw it and come and throw it. He said, I don't want it anymore because it's not even working anymore. That thing has not been working anymore. I not been working anymore. It was working, working, but this time it's not working. This woman here, this, that is, let me tell you, so many people, they say all kinds of foolish things. Hey, this woman is a witch. Oh. It's because you cannot destroy me. So the only word you can give it to you is a witch. Oh. <laughs> That's all you can say. But you and I know very well that I am not because you are not able. So the only thing you want to do is to destroy it, to destroy the name, tarnish the image. But you cannot tarnish. You that tarnishing, you need that salvation, you need that deliverance. You think you can destroy God's work and God's church. That devil is a liar. You see, whosoever and whoever have tried it, I will destroy their own. Yeah, you want to do this. Uh -huh. you, you will do this uh, to, to, uh, in the morning. How come? We didn't see you today at the meeting. Huh? I couldn't tell. Because the wings have been clipping. And then they will try to give you a new wings. Angel show up. So you better. Uh, somebody sent me a clip about a young man. He said he was what he was a wizard and wedlock and all kinds of stuff. And they, do you know what he said? He said they they purposely pregnant pregnant women, pregnant women, and that woman, and they purposely make the woman do abortion because God creates Satan cannot create. So they abort children to get to God. He said nobody can say so. They can't stand God. 
they try, but you can't face the creator. You cannot face God. He will have left you alone all this year, do witchcraft. But when he decides to face you, can you face? So the young man said, they curse God, curse God. One of the young ladies was cursing God, cursing God. All of a sudden, an angel came from heaven with a sword and stabbed him. I give my life to Jesus. Oh, oh. You want to challenge God. Huh. Your neighbor, you're on the Lord's side, though. <laughs> the Lord is on our side. He said, God is on my side. I'm fighting on the I'm fighting on the good side. And I'm fighting on the lost side. In the name of Jesus. I will not discuss and pretend that I am with God, but I'm against him and against his people. In the name of Jesus. I'm on the lost side. I'm on the lost side. I am on the lost side. And the Lord is on my side. The Lord is on my side. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is on my side. He's uncovering anything that has been covered. He's uncovering uh, anything that has been covered. Whether sickness or whatsoever. He's uncovering it in the name of Jesus. That devil is alive. I give God a praise. Today somebody was sharing their testimony. And I believe that around this 10, 2 o'clock, we're praying for the person that she didn't even know we're praying for. You understand? Every time I talk to her, I keep seeing that there's something in your stomach, something there. Go out to check up. Go do this. Go do that. And finally, she went and they saw. She went for something else, but they discover the very thing that the God had been talking about. If that surgery was, did not take place, this is how she had passed on. So today, me and her, when she was now finally telling me, I was like, wow. That's why I keep saying, go do checkup, go do checkup, go on checkup, go do this. Because I see something inside you. God, I give you that. I say, God will cover what has been covered. So I will not die. That means I will not be stubborn against God. I will not take it lightly. What God is saying. Put your friends aside and stop being offended about everything. Offended. You offend about this, offend about that, offend about that. You're not doing me, you are doing yourself. Only you know and you see what is going on. That devil is a liar. Somebody said, The devil is a liar. You say, Help me not to be offended. And let me go to my offenders. And make it start to make peace with them. Because the enemy is robbing me. And what is going on? God said, You cannot carry what is about to take place. You cannot stand. What do you mean, Jinano? That means that you cannot stand. You cannot. You cannot. Your weight is small. When God says your weight is small, that means spiritually. Don't ever think. I'm on the Lord's side. Oh, I am winning. Say, I am winning. <laughs> Say, I am winning. Ah, I am not losing anything. God have watched and protected for you to go in and come out. He have saved you. When they, it was meant for you not to come back, but God made you come back. That devil is a liar. So everything within me that has been hidden, it's been covered. Thank you for uncovering it. And thank you for healing me. Thank you for healing me. Healing my mental state. Restore my mental state. Healing my home. Restoring my home. In the name of Jesus. In a situation that has been almost uh, chronic and has been there for a long time. Oh, I'm going to see the end. And I will see the end. Those that have laughed at me. And those that have talked about me. And against me. I am really sorry. Just repent. But God say you're going to see the same thing. I don't want you to see it. But if you don't repent. It is God's will that you taste of it. But he wants you to repent that you don't taste of it. 
in the name of Jesus. Aramasa. Shekia Naramusi. Thank you, Jesus. Just lift up your voice and just begin to bless him. Just begin to bless him. Begin to bless him. Begin to bless him. Begin to bless him. Just bless him. Shekianda Ramusi. Lord will bless you. Lord will bless you. We'll bless you for restoring the home. Don't think and don't worry. Whether even if it is divorce. If the man have divorced you, if the man have left you for another woman, for another thing, let me tell you something. There is a restoration. God is bringing restoration. Declare that you are not praying amiss. I'm not praying amiss. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I give you the praise. I give you the adoration. I thank you, Lord. I'm laughing at destruction and famine. I am laughing at destruction and famine. I, I am not afraid of any beings of the earth. I am not afraid of anything that represents beings on the earth. Lord, I thank you, O God, because I've made covenant with you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that the beings of the field shall be at peace with me. Nothing will frighten me. Nothing will scare me. Nothing frightens me. And nothing scare me. Nothing take me out of surprise, oh God. Nothing, oh God, come against me suddenly. Nothing that will surprise me. I will not, oh God, be removed out of my destiny. Out of my place, oh God. My, my, place place of of my place of authority. No situation, no situation. will make me miss uh, make me my, miss. Destiny. my destiny. With a place God wants With me to be. Me. What you want me to do. What Whatever I have sent on earth to do. Nothing will make me oh God, nothing will to, make miss me. It, uh, to miss it. As they have destiny. They, have they destiny. want to remove me they want to from my path to God. From that God. God. have been placed on Father, I thank you. That no situation will remove No situation. No situation will remove me. No situation will divert my calling. Nothing will divert my calling. Nothing will divert my calling. Nothing will divert me from God. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, I will not go. Visit my dwelling place and find nothing. My Lord, I thank you. As I visit my dwelling place, I will find nothing amiss. For everything is in right place. Everything is in place. Everything in the name place. of Jesus, name I give of you Jesus. the glory. I, you the I shall glory. also know I shall also my know. descendant. My I shall also know. I, also I will know. know that my descendant shall, shall be many. Shall I know many. that my descendant will be many. I know my in the name of Jesus, my offspring, oh God, will be like the grass on the earth. My Lord, my God, everything will be okay. Oh, my unborn grandchildren, my unborn grandchildren. They will not be in a miss in the name of Jesus. Name you of have Jesus. blessed them you have before, blessed the before the foundation of this earth, oh God. Earth they are before you. They are before you know you. their name. You know, their you name. know them, oh God. You know and them, they are God. in your hands. Yes. My family, oh God, family, will oh God. not be in a miss, oh God. Will not find nothing amiss. Will not find nothing amiss. Thank you for restoring my family. Restoring us. My home. Restoring us. My church. Restoring us, restoring. my children. My children. Thank you for restoring you for my restoring. children, oh God. Children. Elevating them. Elevating. Bring them to a place them to you want them to be to, them operate, to be. Oh operate, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for erasing shame from them, oh God. Thank you for erasing whatever has been a shame. Thank you for taking it away. Taking the shame 
shame, taking the shame, and placing them, and putting them into a place where you want them to be. Nobody can bring them down. No one can pull them down. No one can bring them down. In the name of Jesus, every situation and any issue that come upon us is working together. It's working it will be for our own good. Whatever situation, whatsoever. Is working together is working for the together. glory of God, for the glory in, of God. Our life, oh God. in our life. Oh God. We are not praying our I am not, not missing anything. Missing oh God, my finances oh God. are is intact to oh God. You are blessed the works of my hand. You are blessed the works of my hand. You are blessed the works of my hand. And you are blessing the works of my hand. You are blessing, oh God. What has remained? What has remained? You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. I shall come to the grave at a full old age. A full old age. Lord, I thank you. I will come to my grave to full old age. A good old age. With good health to God. With my eyes not dim. My eyes not dim. My eyes not dim. With good health to God. In the name of Jesus. I will not to God. Pray Miss her, neither will I miss her. What God has given me, I will not miss anything. My Lord and my God, I give you the praise as the chef of the grains, rival God in season. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. My Lord, I thank you. My Lord, I bless you. I give you the praise. I give you the adoration in the name of Jesus. King of glory, be thou exalted. Thank you, Thank you for restoring, restoring my relationship, restoring my relationship, the relationship of God that you have destined, that, you that have needs destined. to be restored. Lord, I thank you for restoring. Lord, I thank you, I thank you, you for restoring relationships in my home, my home of God, my family of oh God. Thank you for restoring it and blessing my family, blessing my family, blessing your church, blessing your church, restoring. Your church. Your church. Your church. Your church. Need to be restored in the name of Jesus. As you see the church, as you see the church, you see it. The way you want it, the way you want it. The way you want the church, the way you want the church to be sifted. You have sifted the way you want it, and I thank you. You have sifted to your understanding, to your knowledge, the way you needed it to be. And no one can dis uh, yeah. no one can question uh, no one your, can decision, question. Oh your decision, You God. understand you are what understand. you are doing. You are, so you are Lord, doing. we thank you so for, the shaking, uh, for the shaking for the shaking for the shaking, the shaking of the ship, the shaking, the shaking of the, the boat. The the I give you the praise. It wasn't the devil doing nothing. It wasn't the devil doing anything. You are the one in charge of everything. Just watch it. Just watch it. What, what God is about to do, what, what is he's getting to ready to do, what, God is ready see to do. what is low, what he is will low. feel it. He he is is it. Feeling he's feeling it. it. He has already refilled it. He has already, he has already he restored it. He has already, he has already blessed it. He has already in the name of Jesus. He's the one that brings low. And he's the one that brings low. And he's the one that brings low. And lift it up. And lift it up. And bring it he brought high. us low he brought to, us teach low. Us to teach us something, to watch something, to, watch something. to, understand, to something. understand something, to know something. To something. To know something. And it is the same God. It is the same He's God. lifting it up, He's lifting restoring it up, it up. It. in the name of in Jesus. Because as we believe in Him, as we, believe as we trust in Him, we trust you will become a memory, we'll a, a memorial. We will look back and we thank Him and thank God. And then you will understand. And you will come to the knowledge of Okay. And they will come to the land of it. They will come to the landing of it. In the name of Jesus. And when you are low, you don't desert him. When you are low, you don't abandon him. When you are low, you don't leave him. When you are low, you understand. 
understand. You understand. He said he bring low. He bring low. And he lift it up. He lift it up. He bring it low. He bring it low. And he make it high. He make it high. He brought you low. He brought you And he's lifting you high. He's lifting you high. He brought you low. He brought And he's bringing you high. And he's bringing you high. He make you dry. He make you dry. And he's making it wet. And he's making it wet. He make you dry. He make you dry. He making it wet. He making it wet. He cause the rain to fall. He cause the rain to fall. And he cause the sun to shine. He cause the sun to shine. We came to the dry place. 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 To experience the dryness. To experience the mountains. For us to know that he's gone. Yeah, he's saying, in what way in what can way? we know that he's gone? In, in what God. way in what can way? we trust him? We trust in what him? way in what can way? we understand can we who he is, who he is in, the in the name of Jesus? Name of Lord, Jesus. I give you the praise. Lord, I give you the praise. Lord, I give you the praise. I thank you for my down moment. I thank you for my dry moment. I thank you, oh God, for what you are what you are doing in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the talk. I, I thank you for the gossip and I thank you for the gossip I thank you for the desertion I thank you for rejection and I thank you for the lies I give you the praise I give you the adoration we thank you for the merry-go-round as we went around as we went around breaking the curses breaking the curses that was released on us that was placed on us the curses have been broken the heaviness have been broken the heaviness have in the name of Jesus, the devil taught her whatever he was doing, we will give up. We will give up. We will give up. We will give up. We will put it there. We will put it there. The devil taught her. The devil taught her. They have won. They have won. They taught her. They're going to win. They're going to win. They taught her. They could destroy. They could destroy. But they don't know whatever they were doing. They were doing against themselves. They were doing to help us. To help us. They were doing to help us. To increase us. In faith. In everything. In everything. In the name of Jesus. In the name Father, of Jesus. we thank you. Father, we thank and we bless you. And we bless we you. give you the praise. We give you the adoration. I am not losing anything. I am not losing anything. For this battle is not mine. This, 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 this battle is of the Lord. The battle has been of the Lord. The battle has been of the Lord. The battle has been of the Lord. Keep saying the battle has been of the Lord. The battle has been yours. The battle has been yours. Whatever battle that you are going through is of God. Order. Don't lose heart. Don't lose heart. Don't, heart. Heart. Don't lose heart. For God is with you. He's fighting, He's fighting the battle. He's fighting your battle. He's fighting our battle. He's fighting our battle. Whatever battle. Whatever you have been fighting all these years. You fought all these years. Even this battle. Even this battle. Do you know some people? Because of what you are going through. Because of what you are facing and the challenge. Whatever you spoke. God said whatever you spoke. It touches his heart and he broke his heart. Amen. What you are going through, so you make people. Do you understand? Because you are going through, so you make certain people look down on you yeah. and disregard. God said, I will restore your image. Thank I you, will Jesus. restore you so much that those that were ahead of you, you will come and be ahead. Thank you, Jesus. Of them. If they had this, you will come and have more than that. Hallelujah. And you're going to understand that I am God. God said, I should tell you that I've seen everything that you are doing. I've seen everything. Every work that you have been doing. He said, no man can pay you more than I can pay you. And I will pay you and for so much. I'll pay you so much that mankind will know. And when they want to talk about it, you're going to say to them, where were you when I was doing this? And where were you when I was doing that? And where were you when I was doing this and that? And where were you when I was doing that? Let me tell you, there's back pay that coming. There's a blessing that coming that you cannot contain. You will go back and forth and back and forth. And back and forth to so much. Uh, with money and everything. And you're going to say that, look here. When I was low, you were there with me. When I was low, you were there with me. Yes. What do you need and what do you want? Yes. Man, everything that you need, whether it's your wife or your husband whatsoever, you will buy whatever that you want and you will make it so big and so proud that you will make mankind, the world, to know what you have gone through. No man can go through what you have gone through. And God said, I have seen everything. And I will bless you. Say, bless that I will bless you. Elevate that I will elevate Amen. you. 
I will wipe away your shame. Amen. Those that talk negative about you secretly and those that talk and thinking that you cannot do it. You don't want to do this and you don't want to do that. So many people don't know that I, God, put you in that place where Thank you are. Thank you, Lord. That I will see. Someone take your destiny like this. And just bless the name. When you hear a word like this, just bless the name of the Lord. Take this thing and bless the name of the Lord. God said, bless that I will bless you. I will bless you so much. As you carry my work, my work on your shoulder, and you carry my work on your head, I will also carry you on my head. You see, don't you know all these years, so many people, a place that you're supposed to be, if you was deaf, I have given people in your place. <laughs> I have given people in your place. They wanted you to be gone and die. God said, no, I've not even started. <laughs> the Lord said, I should tell you, some of you. You say, you don't know that the prophetic is on you. You see, just like the way Paul went through and suffered for my work, you will be speaking in tongues and prophesying and preaching the gospel that you have no idea. Amen. You say, for this reason that you didn't die. Amen. Anyone that tried to take your life, let them try. I will let them, I will take them in your place. God, I'm going say, very soon. You say, look at yourself. Don't you see yourself as a noble person? How many of you look at yourself like you see yourself? You say, I have made you. How many of us know, thank you, Holy Ghost, you don't need the money to be noble. How many yeah. of you know that? Yeah. You don't have the money right now. But don't you see when you step in a place, when you take a picture, and then you look noble, beautiful, very soon, I will let your pocket match the way you look. Very soon, God said, keep saying it, talking about the ride you want to drive. He said, you will lack nothing or need and need nothing. Haram will say. The Lord said, I say, thank you, Lord. He said, as Peter, I say, I'll build my church on this. I will use you to build my churches. You will build my churches. I will give you money in your pocket. No. So you will not be broke. No. Don't worry. Don't worry. And count it all joy. Count this season of your life because this season you will not see it anymore. You will not visit this place anymore. God said, I see every tears of yours. The cry you cry secretly that no one knows. He said, I see it. You cry. You are not alone. Forgive everyone that have offended you, your family members, everyone that have deserted you, that have made you something else, somebody else. He said, I did not create you like that. I will restore and replenish, restore you, your emotion, everything will be different. I will give you a heart of man and give you a heart of destiny and you will know that I am God. If I could raise Esther up from nowhere and Esther become a queen, Joseph from nowhere become destiny, what do you think that I cannot do? You don't have values. Let me tell God say I should tell you that he has made you envious of many. Many envy you. Do you know that some people? You don't do anything. People just envy you. You don't know, they don't know what you are going through. Uh -huh, they are tired. They are tired. They want to sit too. They want to sit. Father will give you the praise. There is God have restored you and I. He have restored you. <laughs> Do like this. Say winner, eh? Winner. The Lord say, I will let your eyes see money. I will let your hands count money. I will let your pocket carry money. Your bank account. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. 
God say every word I have spoken before the foundation it will come to pass. You're not here by accident. Say, so we are not here by accident. So I'm not here by accident. If you are married, whoever you marry, you didn't marry by accident. The Lord purposely placed that person in your life. God see fit whosoever in your life to be able to help you. Some of you, your partners are your helpers. Begin to recognize because it's very soon you're coming out of that place. Do your hand like this. I'm coming out of that place. My season of here is over. When I say here, that means the place you are, if you are broke, that season of broke is over. That season of driving up and down, yeah, that almost is over. God will shock you. God is about to shock you. Eh? You have not been, I'm using wisdom, but you will understand. You have not been that place, too dead, that place. But when the interview comes, you don't know. Before you realize it, you understand. Something will come upon you. Just answer, answer. Boom, you got it. And then, and then you call and say, I got it. Too. Hey, really? Say, yes, I got it. I got it. Too. As the Lord say, humble yourself. When that come, humble yourself. Don't be those that when I give money, this is the time you want to explain. I was this before, I was that, and I was that. God say he hears everything. Your attitude towards that. Don't say no. Be one of those that you humble and you give all to God. Because whatever he wants to give it, he's not giving it to you to be proud, to be proudful or arrogant and whatever. No. People might say or may know you to be like that, but let them be shocked. You of a different. Give you the praise. Ah, take your phone. Take your phone like this. Put your phone in your hand. You can take any phone. Your phone. Yes. Put it in your hand like this. And look at it. Look at the money inside. The Lord say, don't be proudful and don't be arrogant. Because very soon it's going to be there. He said the things you discuss with me, <laughs> you go ahead <laughs> and do it and be proud, you even be over it and so proud. Do you understand that we can help and we can do this and we can do that? So don't worry of those that are going to be envious, going to be this and going to talk and going to do talk or talk or talk or talk. Or talk. Say, let the talk, 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 talk itself. Let, let the talk, talk, do the talk. Because don't be arrogant though of what is coming and do it. And do this thing, this thing, this thing. Some people. You see them very humble. The moment money comes in, the moment God bless them a little bit. Ah, that is where they can spell. That's where before they can't spell their name, but that's where now they can spell their name and swear. Is it not this one here? Me, I put something on. I didn't add you. I didn't even check it. That teenager guy said, Pastor, you forgot to put you there. Put you. I said, Oh, put it for me then. Me, I didn't even check it too. Hello. Praise the Lord. Ah, wave your hand to Jesus. Uh, in my language, say me me That means that you are not a, you are not sorrowful. You are not somebody that you can look at me and think that me I'm sorrowful because you are looking at my circumstances. No, don't look at me. I am blessed. I go by what God says, not what feelings, not our feelings. Let's put our feelings aside. And let's listen to what God is saying concerns anyone so we don't make mistakes. What we think is not what God is thinking. Father, I give you the praise. I give you, I tell your neighbor, I'm not broke. Oh. It's it just temper. It Say that, listen, it's not going to be like this forever. You're not going to pay me forever. No, say it. You're not going to pay me forever. That means that whatever, whoever paying, whatever, you're not going to do like that forever. Because this one, it just a little bit, I'm borrowing you to pay me just a little bit. But because the narrative has already changed. My life has changed it's just for me to see it physical. Have you forgotten the scripture we read in Job uh, 5 and uh, 17? Now read it when you go home and see the words over there. That is what God is saying to And even Daniel, as God brought it in, and brought in Esther. Daniel 6, do you understand? Go to read extra also 7 and read all the scriptures. He says, they put him in the den. Whoever has put you in the den, that means whatever problem, whosoever, whatever, it will not even those demons. 
Demons, they can't. Let me tell you, demons are afraid. When you tell them, get out, they will get out. But woe unto you if it's a human spirit behind it. They will taste of everything. You have clipped their wings. So. Some wings, they'll be miserable. Watch some people. They'll be miserable like because their wings are clean. Their wings are done, done word. And some have been tied. You see them physically. You see them physically, but spiritually, God have tied them. Who give you the praise. Who give you the adoration. Thank you, Lord. Just lift up your hand and just thank you for a second. Your two hands. Just thank him for a second. Do you see how God lo love worship? Anytime you worship. With me, when you worship, it's where you see the prophetic just come like water. It's like you're pouring water. Water. So learn to worship. One thing God cannot do for himself is worshiping himself. Learn to worship. And learn to praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your promises that come to pass. Thank you that I am not broke. Thank you that you hear me, you see me. Thank you that, because I don't desire to, for you to be like this. But very soon, all will change. Very soon, what you desire to do, you can do it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But also, I should tell that, do you know I've kept your mother for you? You say, do you know that I've kept your mother? Yeah, I've kept your mother. The canopy and the distance. He said, I've kept your mother. I've protected your mother. Some don't know. The prayer have kept their mother. Prayers have kept their mother. Shiki and Aranasa. Father will bless you. Will give you praise. Will give you the adoration. Thank you for the change in the homes. Some of people, their homes, the Lord God, that has been war and turmoil. Because some that the husband don't want them to serve you. Thank you for releasing them, breaking whatsoever. And turning things around in the name of Jesus. I give you the praise that the household will not be the same. I thank you, Lord, for the change in the household. I bless you, Lord, for your glory that be seen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing some husbands home. Thank you for restoring some families. Thank you for bringing some fathers to their children. Thank you for changing and dealing with their fathers and husbands to God. That you are restoring for their children to be happy. In the name of Jesus. We we'll give you the praise. We we'll give you the adoration. In Jesus name. Amen. Declare. Declare that you will not die. Say I will not die. Declare it. I will not stand on your feet. Say I will not die. Declare that I will not die. I will not die. Do you know what somebody says? Say, over my dead body, my feet, the feet on the ground. For me to sit, see you get married to this man. God said, then they will die for you to get married. In the name of Jesus. Let's see how you're going to get married. You want to get married over my dead body. That shall it be. Yes, I will get married. Whoever that is not happy, so be it. That's your business. But I will get married uh, according to the will of God. I will be married. I will be married. And have my beautiful children. My babies, babies. One on here. One on my husband. One on my here. And one on my da. And one pulling here. And one pulling da. This my stomacher. Uh, will carry my babies. This my breast. Oh, will breastfeed my children in the name of Jesus. That devil is a liar. I will not marry a wrong man. I will not marry a wrong woman. That devil is a liar. S say Satan. Satan. Adios. Yes. Adios. Bye-bye. Adios. Bye-bye. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we seal the prayer and the answers of the prayer with the precious blood of Jesus. We'll give you the praise. We'll give you the adoration. In Jesus' name. Amen. Listen to me. Pray continuing to be. Be patient. Don't let anything, any foolishness, talk, talk, any nonsense come into your ears. It will to distract you because you're about to break through. Do not, what I will say. 
very soon. If tomorrow you call me to tell me, Pastor, oh my God, hear this. I can't believe it. I will not be surprised. Because it is already been done. Learn to control your emotion. How you talk when you are angry and things are not this thing. Do you understand? Somebody that can tell you, look here. It's all that destruction. Destruction. Let us put it as, Pastor, it's all destruction. It's all destruction. All these things are destruction. That is something I say to people. And now they are saying it to me. Pastor, it's destruction. It's destruction. When you hear, ah, it's just destruction. Tell your neighbor, you are making progress. So don't allow any distraction. Say, let's focus. And watch the gutter in front of you. Because you are jumping the gutter. You don't want to fall in the gutter. You say, your enemies have to fall in it. So don't listen to your enemies. Just jump the gutter. In the name of Jesus. Give you the praise. Hallelujah. Somebody wave to Jesus like this. Just wave. Father, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give your offering your tithe. And give your millions. As God poured the billions to you. In the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forever. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen. Hey, don't be afraid of the terror by night. Neither the arrows that fly at a new day. A thousand right hand side. Ten thousand right hand side. A thousand at your side. Ta. Ten thousand right hand side. Only your eyes shall you see and behold of the room.